Hey, um, Shalom. All praises be unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Double one is unto the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone to rule well. And salutes unto Yahweh that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Now, hey, you just heard it, that clip of a podcast that Simone B was on. And um, pretty much um, she exposed herself. You know, they're saying, what do you do? That's nasty. And she um, exposed herself that um, she don't shower every day. Okay. And then, hey, man, the spirit is having it, you know, from the apostles on down. It's kind of resurfacing, you fucking women, man. You know, um, um, in various ways. You know, you sisters that so-called claim you in the truth. You know, or, you know, the way women deal with their men. You know, especially brothers in the truth, or just your overall conduct in general, man. You know, and consistently across the board, it's just off. Now, of course, you have sincere sisters, this doesn't apply to you, you know. But for the majority of you women, man, across the board in the various aspects of life and how you're meant to conduct, it's just horrifically off key, man. Okay. Now, Simone B's here. Is, is saying that she don't shower every day, and um sometimes she'll miss a day. If she shower on when on Monday, she will next shower on Thursday, or on Wednesday. But Thursday's probably happened, you know. And um, hey, that's that's just filthy, man. That is filthy. Okay, um, and I'm gonna say what I have to say real quick, and I'm gonna get these precepts, and I'm gonna be out of your way. Okay. And I mean, I remember your apostle saying this many, many years ago, um, which is which is true, okay. And that um, women, you know, if you have a if woman has a shower, then you can get a pass. But if you want to get real technical, showers are for men, okay. You know, our our lower extremities are external, whereas a woman is internal, man. You know, um, the nature of a man's body. If his diet is correct, is to be alkaline, all right, <clears throat> and um, especially um, that of his loins, but uh, and a woman um, um is very easy, and um, in today's day and age, it's even deemed normal for a woman's body to be acidic. Okay, you know that's the two spectrums of the pH balance scale. Okay. Below below seven is acidic, seven and above is alkaline. Okay, so a woman's natural um discharge or all the filth that comes out of her is acidic, man. Alright, you know. And um hey man us Israelites, we're naturally a clean people, you know, but the more demonic, you know, people become the more filthy, you know, people become in soul, in spirit, in visage, and and, and and also the body, man, okay, you know, ain't no woman not having a shower, not meant to be having a shower, you know, you know, I say every day, you know, okay, you know, um, you know, some people shower twice a day, some people shower once a day, you know, but you skipping days and then you going up on a podcast talking about um like twice a week and all that shit that is filthy and it's, it's lucky to be raw but she's probably fucking in between all of that you know and then and, and not washing up man that's just filthy man okay you know um you know you got you oh man i don't even want to get into it but you get the point now this is the scripture Titus chapter two, right? But speak. Uh, let me in fact so look at Titus chapter two, verse three. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Okay, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, 
that the word of the Most High be you know, blasphemed. Okay, so the age woman likewise, back in verse three, that's your mothers, man. Okay, your grandmothers, the, your your mothers and grandmothers are there to what to guide and to teach, as it says at the end of the verse, teachers of good things. Teaching what the breakdowns? No, teaching how to keep themselves, man. Okay, how to keep her husband, how to keep a man, how to keep the house, how to keep children. Okay, you know, how to keep themselves. All right, and, and a woman like, I mean, I don't know, you know, these so called celebrities, they be putting their bit. I don't really follow Simone B like that. Um, you see her about on, um, well, she on a couple of times, she was on that um, Nick Cannon, you know, Wild and Out or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever, man. All that bullshit. But, um, I don't know her family <clears throat> circumstance or her. Her, her, her brought up, see her, her upbringing. I don't know that if her mother was in, in her life or whatever the case may be, man. But it's a pandemic that this nonsense is being openly discussed with no shame at all. The scriptures speak about women being shame faced, man. You know, like there's a certain way women are meant to carry themselves, man. You know, you know, a, a woman, a woman that um, carries herself with class is an attractive woman. All right. You know, men are, 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 are likened to lions, man. You know, you know, you know, you know, lions in zoos, right? You could feed them good pieces of meat all day long. They'll still be depressed for two reasons. Number one, they're caged in. They're not free to roam the safari or the earth, which they should be or not in some glass cage. And number two, they're not executing their instinct, which is to hunt. Okay. When everything's being put on a plate for you, it, it, it diminishes your your ability, okay? That's why Jake don't excel in the world. It's not about excelling in the world, but just in terms of having common sense and, and, and conducting themselves, Jake can't excel at that because Jake don't like to think. We've been conditioned to not think for the most part as a people, all right? But we're, we're really meant to be hard workers and thinkers, evaluators, people of rationale. Okay, but when everything's fed to you, you will like rap music. You will like chicken and chips. You know, you 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 will like um fucking chocolate cereals. You know, and eat that four times a day. All right, and wash it down with some, with some lean, or whatever. Like like, where where we've been made to operate way below our capacity. Okay, you know. And that's just is what it is, man. You know, but number two reasons why lions in zoos are depressed and they look sad is because they're caged in. And number two, they're not exercising their natural instinct, which is to hunt. Okay. The natural instinct of a lion is to assess its prey, see it alive, observe it, then strike and clinically go for the kill. All right. Yes, it relieves the hunger of the lion, but it also... Um, allows the lion to fulfill its purpose. Hormones get released when the lion is executing his bodily function, just like a man. Okay, you know, if you go too long without um, busting a nut or, you know, whatever, um, your body's going to naturally get rid of that, you know, because um, you're not fulfilling what your anatomy was made to do. In terms of relationships, our anatomy is that the woman is meant to. In the ideal world, the woman's meant to move to you and then run away. That's 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 a that's an acceptable tease. And then once she's like shown interest and kind of run away, then it's for you to go in for the kill and take her. Alright? She makes herself visible, she makes herself known that she kinda likes you, and she runs off in her corner and then you pursue her. Okay? That's how it's ideally meant to be, you know. But let's just say you go on a date with a woman or you, you, you see a woman on the street, but her 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 vagina print is out, her ass is hanging out. I, I've seen that, man. Women wear batty rider shorts so short that their ass cheeks, the bottom of their ass cheeks are hanging out. You damn near see their breasts and everything. You ain't going to be attracted to that because every man can see it and you're not, you have nothing to go for the kill for, you know. You know, you take a woman out on a date 
I mean, man, I'm analytical, man. You know, I'm analytical. And I done told my bird that, man. I said to her, man, for, you know, I'm straight up, man. You know, I appreciate you. I may love you and all of that, man. But for you to end up with me, man, you, 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 you done, you done, um, um, prove yourself, man. Okay, I don't go for any old kind of woman, man. I know brothers can corroborate that in their own personal lives, man. I'm looking at the way you present yourself. I'm looking at how you sit down. You know, I take you to dinner and you're wearing a skirt and your legs are open. I'm looking to see them two kneecaps touching, you know, rubbing together, man. Close your damn legs, man. Eat with glass, man. You know, how you walk and how you, you know, how you moving around, you know. But that type of thing attracts a man, you know. I want to I wanna see your legs closed so that I can imagine and go for the kill as a man to open them, you know. All right. I want to see you quiet and chaste and respectful so that when you're mine and we have a conversation, I can wire your mind to think the correct way and we can discourse on a level, not on the level of brothers, but on the level of a man and a woman, okay? I want to be attracted and lured in, okay? Not see far from a distance and run away, okay? But these women out here ain't got it like that because number one their mothers are whole with themselves man okay i actually dealt with a benjamin woman my ex-demon okay i remember being in the house and her mother was there you know and her mother said yeah man she said my name she goes yeah i ain't gonna say the ex's name she goes yeah so and so you know really and truly you know, fucking yardy demonic um Benjamin family man really and truly um so and so is gonna leave you and um it's probably gonna fuck like three four man and then come back to you but yeah true say me can see you to really get along and um 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 but you're young you know so um you know she's probably gonna go around and sleep around probably fuck three four man and, and then she's gonna come back around to you but just hang in there you know and man I was just in that house like, what the fuck is this, man? What the actual fuck is this? You know, what the hell's going on, man? Hold on, hold on, man. What was going on? The mother in front of her daughter was saying that the daughter is probably going to go and sleep around with other men. But I should hang in there because the love, quote unquote, was real. And I just had to scratch my head and say, boy, you know, what a world we live in. <laughs> now, man, but I was horrified at that, you know, and I, I praise the Lord, man, that a that demons an ex, you know. But you got women um, getting taught by their mothers, bullshit, man, which is against the scriptures. So can you get on these women? But can you even blame them? Because for the most part. They will go up on the off key vibration themselves. You know? The age women likewise that they be in behavior as become of holiness. Not false accusers, not given to much wine. Teachers of good things, man. You know? That was the good things. You know? How to tidy a house. How to cook. How to greet your man when he comes home. You know, because women ain't dumb, man. You know, we say that you, the woman is the weaker vessel, physically and mentally, which is true. But that does not mean the Lord made you a fucking retard. You still have common sense. You still have rationale. You can still assess situations. Maybe not on the, on the level of a man, but you can do it. You know, who, whose wife was it? Um, That guy in the scriptures, his name means simple, Nabal. I forget his wife's name. It wasn't Sarah. Um... Was it Abigail? It may have been Abigail. I've got to go and check it out. But Nabal's wife, um, she saw that her husband was moving like an idiot. That one dickhead to David. And she she, she, she was able to quickly assess that nah, man. He going to get his ass killed because he's being prideful, man. So she used common sense and made some shit happen to try and appease her husband's situation. 
Now, it may not have worked out in that to that end, but at least um, she got favor with uh, with David, and it was accepted, and then it commenced from there, you know. So women ain't stupid, man. Yeah, we say, you know, you ain't on the level of a man because they, that's the way the Lord made it, and it's true and it's scriptural. But just because you're not on the level of a man don't mean, you know, you've got two pennies or two marbles in your head rubbing each other and that's all you've got. No, women can make good decisions. Women can analyze things to a certain degree. But for the most part, they fucking don't because they don't have no good women above them teaching them because they were raised by hoes, you know. Simple as that, man, that they may teach young women to be sober, man, or slack you but at the end of verse 3, teachers of good things. Yeah, keeping the home, cooking, you know. What's another good thing a woman should be taught? How to analyze her man, you know. He comes home, you know. Maybe he's in a good mood, you know. Women are playful, man. You know, I should play with him today. I should, you know, flirt with him a bit today. I should be all over him, give him hugs and kisses, you know. Tell him how much I appreciate him, how much, how handsome he is. Duh, 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 duh. Women have to analyze when to do that, but then they also have to analyze. Nah, man, he ain't in the mood today. You know, the food is cooked. You know, all of that, and let me just stay out of his way. You know, and if he wants some later, I'ma give it to him and then stay out of the way. You know, cause men gotta do that. There's, there's days. Where you, you got you assess the woman, man. You know, yeah, she wants because women got um needs to, and the scriptures speak about that. The body of the man is the is the woman, and the body of the woman is the man. You got to assess like when your woman wants something, and it's your duty to give it to her. You know, you know, if you, you woman like oh, but she talking about something she needs to get or she wants, and she's been all right, then you, you got to fucking. At some point, get it. Now, if it's something awful, stupid, or you just can't, or, you know, deem it not right for her, then fine, reject it, you know. But here it is, if you have a, a good woman, and she wants, oh, baby, I want this, you you got to get it, man. Because because marriage ain't just about, oh, yeah, the pussy feels good, yeah, she's mine. Nah, man, you, you got to look after that woman, man. All right, and as much as we get onto uh, the woman, as I was even earlier myself in this video, a lot of you fucking men that take people's daughters and treat them like shit, all right, but you just do, oh, my woman, yeah, the Lord gonna kill you too, man, because marriage ain't a joke in the scriptures, man, but for the most part, in the relationship balance, it's the woman going off at this particular point in time, okay, but as I was saying, as a man, even you gotta assess and analyze your woman, she wants me to be all over her today, She's horny. I got a pop, you know, or, or or she wants some comfort. She wants to be held and hugged, you know, or whatever. You gotta do that. It goes both ways, man, you know. But in this scripture, it's speaking about you women, because for the most part, you men are fucking selfish, man. All right, men don't go to work to bust their ass to get shit from Edomites to come home. To, to, to for the the motivation for it or or the 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 reason for it most times where men bust the rust, especially in their younger years, so that they can grow up and raise a family, man. And who benefits from his hard work? You, the wife, and the children. Okay, you know, because men are very simple, man. It doesn't take a lot to satisfy men, but all the extra stuff. What 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 is it to accommodate a family, man? Which is what we're commanded to do. Be fruitful and multiply. So it's not like we're going above and beyond. But at least, God damn it, there could be some appreciation. There could be some correct conduct. Which your mothers and your grandmothers are meant to teach you. Okay. You know, teachers of good things. Yes, that includes taking a fucking bath, man. You've got to be some more. I don't bath. <laughs> Can you imagine how the, hey man, how the room stinks, man? Here it is, you're a woman and you're not bathing. God, it was once or twice here and there in a week, man. And you're up on a podcast, that's fucking embarrassing, man. Okay? A man don't want to come home to dirty children, a dirty house, or a dirty woman. 
All right, you want the children to be, if they're babies, to be well looked after, clean, nappies change, fed, happy babies learning and growing. The house is in order, okay, you know. Um, and you yourself are kept well, you know, washed, bathed, you know, and coming home smelling like, like three days old, stale ass, man. That's after. That's fucking disgusting, man. And now, the, the the newest thing on social media is, oh, respect and value women. Being a mother is like a full-time job. You're damn fucking right. In an ideal world, you ain't meant to be in these corporations, man. In these jobs out there. Your job is home. You know, being a mother uh, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is another full-time job, and i got to work another job. Ideally, you're not meant to. But then there's the contradiction when... When, when men say stay your ass at home, oh, feminism and oh, the sexist and uh, inequality and sex, um, discrimination and all of that shit. You know, gender discriminatory and all that crap, man. Yeah, being a mother is a job. That is your job, man. To look after the house. The office is the house. And the mission is keep it clean. Keep the children um, well kept. And present yourself well kept. That is your job, man. And by doing that, you look after your man, your man and your children and the home. But you only get mothers to show you them things, man. Rather, you got women telling you how um, their daughter's gone cheat and come back to the man years later. Fuck that shit, man. You fucking hoes. This is verse 4. That then he teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet. Okay? Now, I know what it is, but for the edification, let's get into that word, man. Discreet. So, thrown in the Greek, and it says, of a sound mind, sane. Curbing one's desires and impulses, self-control. All right? You know, because women are... Uh, more emotional than men, they, you know, express their emotions more, but, hey, man, you got to be discreet with it, man, you know, the way you move around the house, the way you move out in public, man, it's loud and walking all over the place, man, you know, and you have been out, you, you know, we've all been out there, man, you can see when, like, you're out, you may be in a shopping mall, and, like, a man and a woman are out, and you can perceive they're together, they're a couple, they're an item, <laughs> it's a lot, you know, they're a couple, and it's like, the woman's just ruling the roost, walking ahead, walking up bare, loud in the shop, doing this, doing that. And you look at the man, and you can see the embarrassment on his face, because it's like an unruly dog, man. All right? You're to be discreet. Chase, man. You know? You with your man, and that's it. Ain't no other man up in you, man. Keep us at home good. All right? It's not good when you don't bath. Uh, um during the week, Simone B. There's a lot more of you stink assholes that do the same thing, man. So it's not just her. That's not a good look, bitch. Obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Okay. You know, you read in Leviticus 15. See where the 15th chapter, the 16th chapter, it speaks about, um, about, you know, sex. It speaks about the period of a woman, a menstrual cycle, man. It speaks about copulation of seed. All right, you know they said, like Apostle Ramlab, um, put it perfectly a couple of weeks ago. There's certain pleasures which lead to impurity. All right, and that's another thing. You know, some brothers seem to be under the 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 the, the guys that um being impure or in a state of impurity is a sin no it's not a sin now if you if you're impure on the sabbath because you had sex on the sabbath then yeah that's off that's a sin okay but aside from that being in a in a state of impurity is not sin it's being impure okay if you have sex you become impure that's not sin okay it's a state of being in the physical flesh all right all right for the, for the most part in the kingdom, apart from the Sabbath and high holy days, we're going to be impure. Because we've got a lot of sex to do. We've got a lot of repopulating to make, man. Amongst many other things. 
But just keep that in mind. Most days of the week, except the Sabbath and High Holy Days in the Kingdom, we will be impure or in a state of impurity in the flesh. Okay? And the, 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 the law is going to be in us, man. So we're going to know, yep, I popped, you know, it's day one, I popped. Okay, I got a bath and went to the evening and become clean again. Then it's going to get ruined all over again. Day two, I popped again. I'm going to take my bath, wait till the evening and be pure. Day three, I popped again. So for the most days in the kingdom, we're going to be in a state of impurity where it concerns the flesh. Because we're going to be popping. Okay, now you may calm down and have days or whatever you don't. You know, as I said, clearly not on the Sabbath for high holy days, man. But the state of impurity is not a sin. Sin is sin. Impurity is impurity. Okay, just to put that out there, man. But Leviticus, the 15th chapter, even the 15th or 16th chapter, it speaks about bathing, man. You know, you bust a nut, you have, you, you know, you have sex. You're in a state of impurity, you've got a bath. And when you get into the word there in, um, Hebrew, um, for water or wash, it's rachatz, okay, which is to bathe with ideally spring water, man, flowing water, okay. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing in the Nile when she saw Masha, Moses, okay, in the basket, man. Women are meant to really bathe in river flowing pure water, and men, okay, we're all meant to, you know. But it's ideal for a woman to have a bath. Men can get away with shouts. Now, women, you can get away with it now. But ideally, you're meant to be immersed in water, man. Because showers don't open up the pores of your skin. Okay? Well, it does, but not as good as the potential of an actual bath, man. Being immersed in water. Okay? Leviticus 15 and 16 deals with cleanliness, man. And here we're seeing it again. You acting out of water not bathing man you know that's 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 off man but again these these women are hoes their mothers are hoes and their grandmothers are hoes so they ain't getting taught these things man